guys, it's Dawn Jacobson from DawnJacobson.com and I help purpose-driven entrepreneurs to bust through the blocks that are holding them back from building out their business online and taking it to the next level so they can impact the world in a big way. So this video tutorial is going to be about unfollowers.com. Unfollowers.com is a fantastic tool that you can use to help you manage your Twitter accounts and to get it ramped up and to really push your business and your brand on Twitter. So 2014 is the year that I was really focusing on Facebook and for all of that um, goodness that I was working on having launched out in June for my coaching business online, um, it, it didn't go quite as great as I thought it would go. And you know, um, I understand how it is to or, or what you need to do in order to market your business on Facebook having come from owning an internet marketing brick and mortar. However, I just wasn't seeing the results from my efforts on Facebook that I really, really wanted to see see for the amount of effort that I was putting in. And there's a couple of reasons for that. A lot of it has to do with the different things that Facebook is putting in place in order to really create a user experience that involves their, uh, you know, that, that personal touch. Facebook is a place that was created to go to be with friends and family and Facebook is committed to remaining it remaining to be that. So what they're doing is they are really, 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 especially in 2015, going to be cutting down on the promotional content that they're doing. Of course, they're still going to be offering paid promotional advertising and that is a great way to get in front of your audience and I do use paid advertising. However, they are going to be cracking down quite a bit on promotional content that is not useful to people in the stream. And that combined with what I have seen from working on my Facebook page thus far in 2014 has led me to really start looking at some other avenues or social media platforms to push out on in 2015. One of those platforms that I've really been looking at has been Twitter and Twitter is unique, unique. And the reason that it's unique is because it only allows you to post your status updates in 140 characters. And that allows you to really, really, really focus your content and everybody to focus their content actually. So it has to be very condensed. And so what you find is you find a lot of very rich content that has a lot of links and articles and things that people want to read, a lot of information that's going out there. The other thing about Twitter is, is that it is a great place for coaches, consultants, holistic practitioners, authors, and speakers to build their brand and to con uh, converse, have create conversations with other like-minded people in their industry and thought leaders because Twitter is unique in the way that it is has a culture that allows for open communication. So where else in the world can you really communicate back and forth and have a conversation with people that you normally wouldn't be able to have a conversation with? For instance, I actually just had a conversation with the drummer from Carrie Underwood's band. And on Thanksgiving, Alton Brown was um, tweeting back and forth with some of his audience. People were creating recipes that had to do with, um, with Alton Brown's recipes and they would tag Alton Brown and he would retweet that to his followers or he would reply back and so it's kind of cool to be able to get into conversation with people that you normally wouldn't be able to have a conversation with and Twitter really allows that to happen on a very quick basis as long as you're building relationships on there that are useful and you're providing a good uh, you know a good you're saying hey this is valuable I'm gonna participate in the conversation with you and you're not just pushing your products you really can start some amazing conversations and Facebook is not like like that really because you really have to spend an intensive amount of time building a relationship with somebody in that level of authority to be able to make it to message them and really start a chat with them. So for those reasons, Twitter is really going to be where I am focusing my efforts for 2015 and one of the tools I'm going to be using to do that is unfollowers.com. So let's go ahead and head over there and I'll show you how to start her up. Okay guys, here we go. So let's go ahead and pop over to Twitter on one tab. There we go. I am popped in and logged in and let's head over to unfollowers.com and here we are unfollowers 
unfollowers.com. You can see right here, here's my account for unfollowers.com. Here is my Twitter's, Twitter account. You can see that as of today, I have 1,662 people that I am following. 1,449 people are following me. My goal for this coming year is to get that number up to at least 10,000. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on for 2015. And the tool I'm going to be using, one of them to help me out with that, that I'm going to go ahead and talk with you guys about today is unfollowers.com. So I actually, because Twitter is going to be one of my focused social media platforms for 2015, went ahead and upgraded to the premium edition of unfollowers.com. Um, the premium edition, I believe, is $9.99 a month. I actually got a fantastic killer Black Friday deal on it. It was $3.45 a month, which is fantastic. I don't know. Maybe they have those offers coming in and out um, from time to time, so check it out. Otherwise, $10 a month is not too bad if, if Twitter is an account that you're really focusing on on growing your social media um, platform on or your business platform on. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the different features in here. I am not going to cover everything that is available in unfollowers.com, but mainly what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to begin using it to get started um, and how to bump up past the 2,000 follower limit that you run into as the first uh, block on Twitter. So what happens on Twitter is that you are allowed to follow up to 2,000 people when you begin your account. So you could start an account today, follow 2,000 people, and they'd be like, great. As soon as you go to follow the 2,001st person, they will say, you can't follow any more people until you have more followers. The reason that Twitter does this is so that people don't get on there and follow hundreds of thousands of people and don't offer any value to the community because Twitter is about providing value back and forth and being part of the conversation. So what happens when you get close to 2,000 followers is you have to begin to create engagement and produce content that is going to get people to follow you. And then from there on out, Twitter um, requires your following percentage to be about 75%. So you can never follow more than 25% of the people that are following you. You can always follow less, but you can't follow more. So what do we do when we're starting out to get our followers going and to get targeted followers that are in front of us that want to read what it is that we're putting out there and how do we follow people that we want to be able to see. So the first thing to do and the first thing that comes up once you log into unfollowers.com is you can see the people that are not following you back. So what you want to do on Twitter when you're um, looking to grow your influence is you want to create reciprocal relationships. So you want to have, you want to follow people that are going to follow you back and the best deal is that you are both interested in the same types of things. So what this unfollowers tool does is it pulls up everyone who is not following me back. Now I've been using this tool for quite some time. And so, and because I have the premium edition of it, I can um, go ahead and exclude the number of people that I followed in the last couple of days. And the reason that I would want to do that is because if I followed people yesterday, I want to give them some time to follow me back before I decide whether or not I want to unfollow them. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. I don't want to unfollow anyone at this point that hasn't followed me in the past seven days. Then it will go ahead and narrow down to the people that are not following me back that I have followed past seven days ago. So what I want to do now is I want to go ahead and go through these and take a look at whether or not I want to continue following these people. So what I'm looking for when I do this is, for instance, um, with Darren Hardy, I'm looking at the number of people that are um, following him, 20, or 203,000, and the number of people he's following, 169,000. Now, I happen to like the content that Darren Hardy puts out, but if this was not Darren Hardy, I would take a look at this and I would say, hey, he's following 169,000 people. 
I'm not one of them. And he tends to keep up between his followers and his following. So I'm not going to go ahead and allow him or use one of my follows on him anymore. And then I would click unfollow and he would remove from my list. You can see here as another example, I follow Katie Couric. However, Katie has over 1 million followers and she's only following 2,040. So I can say, hey, I'm probably not going to ever be one of the people that Katie Couric follows. Do I still want to look at her content? Yes, I do. So I'm going to keep her in my stream. The idea here is to go through and take a look at the people that do not have very many followers and they are not choosing to follow you back. So for instance, do I want to follow them? No, I don't want to follow them anymore. How about this guy? No, nothing. Sandy Krakowski, yes, I will continue following her because she puts out content that I want to see. Even though I can tell that, you know, she's following 194,000 people, I'm still not one of them, but I will keep her on my list for a while. Now this guy, he has less Sat Sean. Um, and it doesn't look like he has anything I really want to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, unfollow him. And so you can see that the idea with this is to go ahead and create as much space in your, um, in your, uh, your followers account right here as possible so that you can follow people that you really do want to follow. So this allows you to go through, filter out the people that you do not want to use a follow on, and then go back and follow people you do. So that's how you do the unfollowing. Now how you find people to follow is right here under copy, followers, and following. What this tool allows you to do is it allows you to put in a user ID of somebody or a handle of somebody that is in your interest area. So for instance, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, I'm going to take a look at Brene Brown. Brene Brown's work is similar, or my work I should say, is similar to Brene Brown's work. She puts out a lot of work that I really like and I'm very interested in, and my target audience is also very interested in what Brene Brown has to say. So what I'm doing here by putting in her name is I'm going to go ahead and the unfollowers program is going to pull up all of the people that are following Brene Brown. And this way I can go through and see whether or not these particular people are people that I want to reach out to by saying, yeah, I'm going to follow you and hope that they follow me back. So let's go ahead and take a look and see some of them. Now, if there are people like this that have one tweet, I know that this is probably either a spam bot or this is a brand new account. And so again, I am looking here to utilize my follows just as um, in the most efficient manner as I can in order to bump up the number of people that I'm following and to get them into my audience when they are ideal clients for me or ideal audience members. They don't have to be ideal clients, but ideal audience members. And then what happens with that is if I go in and I take a look and say, okay, here's one, find us again, come back to Love Coach. She looks like somebody that might be interested in um, the things that I'm interested in. She follows Brene Brown. I also like Brene Brown. This might be somebody I want to engage with. So I'm going to go ahead and follow her. Um, let's see here. We'll go with the with her. Um, let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can't find somebody who has a few more followers. Here's Chad Easton. He's a writer. I'm going to go ahead and follow him. So you can see then that it will allow me in a, in a premium account to follow up to 1,000 people every eight hours. So I could go through here technically and follow all the way up to my 2,000 user limit with new followers. So then I allow a 24 hour time period to go by and then I go back to my not following back and take a look if those people that I have just followed have followed me back or not. Are they reciprocating my follow? What this does also on Twitter by you following new people is it bumps you up in the list of people that are to be followed. So if somebody takes a look at their account, then Twitter will suggest people to follow that are similar to you. And by me following a bunch of people every day and staying on top of my followers versus unfollowers, um, and those people that I am following, 
it bumps me up in that list and promotes me to other people. So that is how you really start to narrow and filter the stream of followers and the people that you're following on Twitter in order to create it to be something that is useful to you in building your brand out online. So that, of course, does not cover everything in unfollowers.com, but it is one of the two tools that I use most often to help with my Twitter account, and I will be using it for the remainder of 2015 to help me get to the next level of where I'm going with that platform. If you have any questions at all about how to build out your business online, different tools to use, how to break through any blocks that you're having that are holding you back from getting to the next level in your business, I would love to chat with you. You can check me out on my website, dawnjacobson.com. You can also go ahead and contact me on there or on Facebook. The links are below the video. And I would love it if you enjoyed this tutorial, if you would give it a quick like and subscribe to my channel. Share it with anyone else you think would be useful. Hope you guys have a great afternoon. Peace out. Okie dokie, so that is how you use unfollowers.com to bust it out on Twitter, right? So that's what you're all gonna go do, right? And I'm gonna see you on Twitter in 2015 because I am gonna be ramping my Twitter account up, building my brand and business, and I hope you join me over there. If you like this video, please do give it a like and subscribe. I would love it if you did that. If you want to check me out online, you can come on over to my website, dawnjacobson.com. My social media uh, profiles are below the video. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoy. Have a great afternoon. Peace out.